The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, oh, Mr. Me. Jeremy Joseph. Hi, Scotty. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Yeah, no problem, man. Anytime. Happy to do it. Mm-hmm. And, hey, you don't have to anytime. Oh, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't need to come in. No, what, no. Why am I here, by the way? Uh, you good looks. Yeah. I guess. And what the, was so fucking important? Uh, to bring the funny. God damn it, I forgot it at home. <laughs> that was the one thing. <laughs> and also, a reoccurring guest on the show, my brother, Freighton. Sla- Freighton. 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 <laughs> That's it from now on. That's going to be the one. Clayton. Here we go. Try and spell Slash that one. Fred. Oh, I can That's, figure that out. He's like Freighton. a over the road truck driver. He's Freighton. <laughs> Freighton. That's right. Choo choo, motherfucker. That's right. Well, uh, guys. You know, just like a train. <laughs> like, like a truck does. <laughs> choo choo. They do. <laughs> sure, they do. Hot oh, damn. Didn't you go to school? Yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Truck driver school. Well, if this is your very first time ever listening to I this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make fun and, well, make jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Also, this is an adult podcast, so if you don't like foul language and loud noises, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Welcome. Yeah, welcome in. Keep laughing, asshole. Yeah, we've got to... keep it nice and tight, guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah, uh-huh. we, we've got a great show. Not me. I'm not normally on the show. Oh, yeah, you are. Um, but we've got a great show. We've got a lot of stuff happening in sports over the last week. Uh, stuff that we are going to talk about and stuff that we are not going to talk about. I don't give a fuck about the NBA. Let's talk about the things we're not going to talk about. Yeah, like the NBA. Oh. Yeah. Not what I was saying about. Oh, uh, okay. No. Um, All right. But anyway, um, <laughs> scratch that one off. we've got overrated, underrated questions, preguntas in the sports. So, uh, But before we do get into that, we're going to get on to our week, week recap. We like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. So, Fred. I'm, I'm starting, huh? Yeah, dude. This is Cause shit it, out it, the it, gate. It's Kicking actually off. been kind of a week anyway. It's been a week it's or two. It's been two, two weeks, weeks since yeah, I've been on. Yeah, yeah. There you, go. you know what I've done in those two weeks? What? Fucking nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Fucking nothing. So No exotic trips to seven states? No, not this time. Oh, no. What about to 7-Eleven? Uh, we, do we have those? I don't, yeah, I think we have one. I think there's one. <laughs> probably scary. That's where I get all my Slurpees. <laughs> no, nope, never been. Uh, no, neither have I. No, I, I'd say I had a week. Week? Really? No, I didn't do shit. So this weekend, um, we stayed at home. We decided to go to the casino Friday night. We went to dinner and yeah. got... Pretty just, so we'll say, shit face off of <laughs> Red Bull Vodka's at the casino. Yeah. And Did you win? Define win. Did you break even or come did out we, on top? Did we go home with money? Yes. No. Oh. Did Did you go to the win casino in Las Vegas? No. Because that seems That's like that would be something no. to mention. <laughs> you can't really if say you, you didn't do anything this, this week <laughs> and wound up in now, Vegas. No. 20 minutes down the road. Uh-huh. Now. Went and played a lot of clack craps, a lot of roulette. And, yeah. I mean, we won. We we were there for four or five, six hours or something. But then... Did you go to the Star or the Wind one? Star's the big one. Star's the, th- the big one, in, like, yeah. outside of Mulvane. Yep, that's where we went. Okay. Because apparently there's now another casino that was just recently built in Park City. Park City. Yeah. It's pretty tiny. It's the size <laughs> of your house. Okay. Yeah. It's not far it. from work. I, I don't think it uh, It doesn't have a hotel or anything. It's just a casino? Yeah, it's, it's just, just like trailer houses. I, and from what I understand, it's a... Uh, I don't know if that's just the temporary facility while they build the permanent or if they're just going to be trailer trash, but... Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of those. It, it's from what I understand, it's like a craps table, a roulette table, two blackjack tables, <laughs> and a, some slot machines from like 1972. That's awesome. Which, yeah, by the way, is, it, I don't know how long it's been since you've been to a casino, Scotty, or if ever. Uh, I don't really care. Um, <laughs> Thanks, it, Clayton. Have you noticed that with slot machines, that seems to be where the 
like the cutting edge of video technology <laughs> starts seems to be. Yeah, yeah. they fucking, got better graphics than yeah, my phone. They do. It's weird. It's like coming in 4D, fucking 4K, all that shit mm-hmm. just right in your face. Yeah. Yep. Telling me yep. you lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I. Honestly, the house controls those things. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. That's you might as well just walk in and go, "Did I win?" <laughs> right. No. Give me pick, your money. Pick a card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, not a, you. Don't even have those kind of chances. I haven't what seen number that. am I thinking of? That's <laughs> about the same. Yeah. This is a <laughs> Vegas vacation uh, casino. That's uh, it is basically what a slot machine <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. It's like you know how in like cereal boxes and shit. Whenever they'd have a a, a contest. Oh. And it said no purchase necessary. That means you can write in and ask for a game piece. And I bet you if you scratch it off, you lost. Yeah, I, I guarantee you nobody ever won the grand prize without purchasing the product. That's true. Uh, but uh, I, did you ever watch that whole thing about the McDonald's Monopoly game? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the inside yeah. guy? Yeah. Yep. Uh, the fucking Colombo crime family yeah. was behind it. Mm-hmm. Those fuckers. Uh, but, Spoiler so, alert. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wish my family was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you went to the casino. Uh, did you uh, did you stay there or did you? No, no, no. 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 We, we drove home. Which the, was probably, the, the, I mean, I was sober. Thing. Oh, you okay. know. <laughs> no, so I mean, we were hungover for two fucking days because we're old and worthless now. So I, hangovers last so much longer. So much longer. You, like, you should have called me. I only live ten minutes from there. I could have told you you can't stay at my place. <laughs> well, I did call you. Didn't answer. <laughs> You got me listed wrong in the phone. Oh, what? That's because I, I gave you the oh, wrong number. I gave you a bunk number. No, I stepped outside the fucking casino oh, and yelled for you. No, I'm not that close. <laughs> You're, I, th- I thought boy. you might just know I was No, there. it's not a 10-minute walk. Ah. It's, uh, it's a drive. Yeah. It's uh, probably 20 was, minutes by I bicycle. I was hopped up on Red Bull. I would have made it. 28 yeah. minutes by unicycle. Yeah. That's impressive. Unicycle time. Uh, especially if you fall off of them like I do. Yeah. Guinness World Record. Your house to the casino. Oh, that's nowhere near oh, Guinness okay. World Record. Oh. Dan Cummins does a great bit about the world's longest unicycle <laughs> ride. I won't go into it now. Uh, anyways, uh, so uh, my week was uh, not as uh, not it, it wasn't as good as yours. No, no, you at least had entertainment. Um, I uh, I did the same thing though, as far as drink way too much and make bad decisions and embarrass yourself. Uh, but I do that sometimes. Uh, but uh, I did yeah. do I did do something though that it it really. I don't even know. I was so fucking shocked. I watched an interview of uh, Joe Rogan in uh, Yeonmi Park. Or, yeah, Yeonmi Park. She is an escapee from North Korea. Mm-hmm. And it's a three-hour-long conversation of her, Joe Rogan asking her a question. She gives a fucking horrendous story of an answer and joe rogan legitimately is speechless and you can just hear him sigh just why would he why would they ever escape from there they're gonna destroy (laughs) us why would you come here they're they're the mightiest most powerful best country in the world that's what their leader says i know it's gotta be true oh my god asians wouldn't lie i like their haircuts (laughs) It, Especially it, his. It was crazy. He seems like an all right guy. Dennis Rodman really had a good time with, with it. Yeah. 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 No, it's, uh, my God, that's an awful country. But, uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much my week. Uh, whatever Jeremy had the, the week before, I think he may have gave it to me because I was sick for three days and it was awful. So, yeah, that was my week. Jeremy? Glad I wasn't here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I, um, I went and saw a movie on Friday. Uh oh. I saw The Eternals. Now, Scotty, I know you hate Marvel movies. Are, are, are you? We're, we want to watch it this week, so don't spoil it, but eh. go to IMAX or don't it, go to IMAX. Oh, it, visually, yeah, it's spectacular. I would okay. definitely go to IMAX for that. From the storyline, though, very convoluted, very takes you know, forever to get anywhere. Very Marvelish. Uh, uh, no. Oh, so it's a Marvel. Yeah, it is a Marvel. What a, what a wonder. Uh-huh. Did you not know that? Oh, well, not like like, no. Oh, <laughs> wrong kind of marble. <laughs> that's a that's a weird way to give a definitive answer. <laughs> Listen, I, it's so marvel like a wonder. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. It uh, here's here's the thing, and I've noticed that I have had a string of movies I didn't care for lately, and I think I put my finger on why. Um, the Warren Theater here in town. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not shitting you. Take your time getting there. Uh, 35 minutes of trailers and commercials. Um, 
now they go by the Regal Theater now. Yeah. They, it's still the Warren, but they're owned by, by Regal. Regal. Yeah. yeah um, about 10 minutes of it was commercials for the Regal, which mm-hmm. I don't get at all. <laughs> Who are you advertising to? <laughs> Obviously, we're all on board with this fucking place. We yep. know about it. We didn't get here by accident. <laughs> Nobody, hobos don't just walk into a fucking theater on accident and right. be like, Jesus, huh. thought this was my room. No, we all know about the, the fucking Regal Theater and that they have popcorn. It's all you can smell. <laughs> That's it. Why would I need a gift card? I'm here. <laughs> it's just fucking stupid. <laughs> gift cards are stupid. Just get regular money. That's yeah, stupid. yeah, give me cash. There you go. Um, let's see. I... I don't want to brag here, but I got a zero clearance uh, throat plate for my uh, table saw. Oh. Yeah. I did not know a uh, throat plate was... Of course I thought, you didn't, it, was, I thought it was something totally different. If you don't think that I put you a fucking splitter on that, Scotty, uh, <laughs> you're wrong. Oh, okay. Oh, I put one on it right away. Oh. Um, nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. No. I like it that way. Uh, let's see. What else did I do? Did you know the yard? I didn't. Oh. I need to. Okay. I got one more. I keep thinking the last one was the la- last time, and then my fucking neighbors will mow, and it's just a little shorter than mine, so now I got to fucking mow. <clears> yeah, I mowed last night. Assholes. My lawn's looking good. Look, well, you got honest. that fancy fucking lawnmower. I don't use that in the front. <laughs> I use it. It won't, it won't get into tight spaces and stuff. So I got saying. a riding lawnmower that's really awesome, but I only use it in the back. Have you seen yard. the size of my backyard? Yes, I've been I'm back talking there. about my ass, Scott. Uh, I was wondering. That's what <laughs> I got a badonka donk <laughs> double. Um, Gross. But uh, no, other than that, um, God. Oh, I watched uh, season five of Big Mouth. Mm. Love Big Mouth. I haven't started it yet. Let me tell you what happens. All right, that's uh, fine. But you can spoil that one. Yeah, that, that one's easy. That, the storyline of that is not the good part of that fucking show. <laughs> by the way, if nobody has watched that, uh, it's Nick Kroll's invention. It's got him and John Mulaney and basically every funny person you ever fucking heard of makes an appearance at some point in that series. And it is fucking hilarious. It is and it is fucking crude. Hilarious. And it is just wonderful. Yes. Um, do not watch it with your teenage kids. No, no. It's a cartoon. <laughs> or or but do, because it is about hormones. It, and it hormone sure monsters, is. I mean, but it is fucking crude. I love it. Uh, anyhow, um, other than that, I uh, Scotty, I wanted to take this opportunity to invite all of our listeners to suck my balls. <laughs> okay. And I don't mean that in like an insulting or condescending way. Uh-huh. I mean because I want them to feel how smooth they are. And you know why, Scotty? <laughs> why is that? Because of Manscaped's Lawnmower 4.0. That's oh, why. Man. Oh. oh, man. I just used it yesterday. Did you? I did. In the dark? Did you make a Christmas It's tree? never dark with that fucking light. <laughs> I actually, I, I have the Lawnmower 3.0. I should. And, uh, yeah, I had to wear my fucking Oakley's. <laughs> because of how bright the light is. There is no such thing as a dark room with a lawnmower 3.0. 4.0, you can set the mood. Yeah. You can make it romantic. That's right. Dim that motherfucker. Put a filter I don't on know it. if you can turn it completely off. Mm, I don't know if you would want to. That's kind of risky. You don't know what I want to do, Scotty? <laughs> let's just, You're right. Let's I get that fucking a little bit of clear fun. right now. Yeah, because I mean, it could be an adventure if you turn it off and completely. It don't, sure could. You don't know exactly where you're you're going. It's, it's like riding cruise. Space Mountain. You don't know what's going to happen, but you're going to be safe. <laughs> okay. Because they have designed this thing to not be painful. That's true. That is a hundred percent true. I uh, recently used mine too, as well, and I'm uh, I'm still squeaky clean down there. Are you? Oh yeah, man. Um, I'll take your word for it. I can show you later. Well, you're also invited to suck my balls, Scotty. <laughs> and I do mean that in an insulting and condescending way. <laughs> well, that's great. But they got all kinds of good shit over they there. They do. They have the uh, my favorite product, uh, the Weed Whacker, the one that gets all the nose hairs out. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's my, the most annoying fucking thing. Mm-mm. Second. First is Scotty German. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. But the uh, second... Most annoying thing in the world is getting nose hairs and getting them like poking at you, and you're always like scratching at your nose. I don't know. You ever been stabbed with a pitchfork? That, <laughs> that gets on your nerves. That's oh, a, that's oh boy. Annoying. I'd say minor inconveniences, right? Mm. Is that, is that's that? the most major of minor inconveniences. <laughs> okay, yeah. we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, but they have the uh, weed whacker for that. Uh, they have other products like the the shears that come in the uh, manicure kit that mm-hmm. uh, Jeremy loves so much. I do love them. 
They are um, by far the best nail clippers I've ever owned. Damn it. I ran out of my cologne like two days ago. Oh, you're using too much. Oh, no. You stink bad if you got to use that much. Refined cologne, which is excellent. So now it's I get so another refined. fucking bottle. Uh, because it smells so good. Sponsored by Penn's Oil? <laughs> no, sponsored by Manscaped. Oh, Jeremy. Okay. Uh, but last but not least, they have uh, the uh, the toner uh, for down there, making your balls. For your up. printer? No, for your balls. Oh, balls. Well, it's kind of. A I have printer. a printer in my balls. Yeah. Isn't that like a three D printer? Kind of. I what I like to do is I get a an ink pad <laughs> and I'll put my balls on it and then I'll go up to paper and uh, just stamp boom, pad. Boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> That's, that's how that's how I roll. That's how that's Jeremy th- signs autographs, folks. A- approved. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. Yeah, and then uh, as well the uh, deodorant. Um, it, it, that is a lifesaver, especially now. I found this out. So I'm one of those people that really struggles sleeping, um, monitoring my my body temperature. Like you put the blanket over yourself, and you're way too fucking hot, and so you had to take it off, and then all the sweat that you had from covering yourself, that blanket is now freezing fucking cold. Well, your balls are a part of that area that sweats, and there is nothing like waking up in the morning after sweating all night long, and your balls just smell phenomenally good. Yeah, by using I, that I don't area. really have that problem. I have to... Uh... I have heightened senses like Daredevil, so I have to sleep in a quiet chamber full of water. <laughs> oh, yeah? Like a sensory deprivation chamber. Oh, yeah. Not um, so I'm always pretty fair temperature. Oh, good for you. Thanks. Uh, but Thanks, Scotty. Thank you so much to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. Go check them out. They uh, they treat us very well and uh, don't seem to care that we don't uh, read the actual commercial. Because, no. You know. But if you use the uh, promo code SIDELINE, yeah. you get 20% off and free shipping. And that helps us out. So we would, we really appreciate that, guys. Go check them out at Manscaped.com. And don't forget to come suck my balls. <laughs> he Feel free to wipe the ink off free. first. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on, we had uh, we got uh, college basketball that kicks off as we're recording this episode. Um, we just saw Ohio State barely eke one out against Akron. Yeah, they were losing until there was three seconds left. I I already know what's gonna happen. I'm predicting it right now because I'm not lucky. Um, but KU's gonna beat Michigan State. Probably they should. Motherfucker. Fuck the Jayhawks. I agree. Uh, but, yeah, so uh, they have uh, – I forget what – it's the uh, Champions Classic, which I like that they do this every year. This is actually a really cool idea. It's always the same four teams. It's always Michigan State, KU, and then Duke and Kentucky always play in this one, like, Final Four tournament that starts off the year. I think they do a better job of doing something like this to where you're not watching shit ba- basketball games on right when the season starts as opposed to college football where you watch Alabama absolutely shellack the shit out of Appalachia State. I think they should invite one shit team who has to play <laughs> all four all of four these of elites. Yeah, I, 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 I would love to see, you know, just like Wichita fucking, State. No, oh. no. Even worse? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to see like Providence. <laughs> They're in. good. Okay. No. Princeton. Oh, there you go. Now you're getting better. I want to see Princeton. One of the Ivy League schools come yeah. in, and they have to do this fucking, you know, ring of fire fucking... <laughs> <laughs> just have to walk through the four toughest teams in the country. I would hate to watch that. But uh, so anyways, yeah, college basketball getting kicked off. I'm always excited about that. Go Shocks. But... If you lose to one of them, because it is like a ring of fire type thing, oh, yeah. if one of the teams loses mm-hmm. to whatever shit team they bring in, yeah, uh, they all have to be set on fire. <laughs> I was going to say something much nicer. I was going to say automatically disqualified from making the NCAA tournament. No, no. <laughs> killed by fire. Okay. All right. Set, Fair not, not just set on fire, because that can be put out. And that, You have to be burned to death. And that disaster could be sponsored by Legos. It sure could. <laughs> so, anyways, if it uh, ever happened, right. so come on, NCAA, you're fucking corrupt. Make it happen. Last time when we were recording the episode, we were watching Game Six of the World Series, and the Braves took it home, baby. That they did. Fuck you, you Astro fans. Not, nah, not the fans. Fans, I, I can't be mad at. But the Astros, I can be upset at them for defending them. Uh, it's, uh not all of them are. Uh, some of them I know. Do. The some, ones who don't are cool. Yeah. Uh, the ones who do just but, suck my dick. But Jose Altuve, uh, you can suck it. Mm-hmm. Uh, big one. Uh, I was so happy to see that. Um, I saw a whole bunch of memes that showed like the the World Series champs for the last like 20 years, and it still has 
an A for the year that the uh, asterisks did. Oh, 95, 96, 95. No, asterisks still haven't won a oh, that World one. Series. Oh, I thought you were talking about the strike year. No. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but anyways, um, the cool thing that I did see, um, they obviously uh, every championship team, wh- whatever sport it is, always has a parade, mm-hmm. right? So uh, they do, and they're starting to do this double-decker bus thing that they drive down the middle of, of the most busiest street and they cut it off and have a big, huge parade. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Braves double-decker bus, they did every they did everything right. They lined the sides of the streets downtown Atlanta, and this uh, double-decker bus driver was fucking cruising. Mm-hmm. He had to be going 45 miles an hour down this fucking this street, and it was just like, wait a minute, this is kind of supposed to be a parade. This is it? how a parade should be. Yeah, Let's be go. Nice. In and out. Get we it get out. it. Marching band. Put yeah. The pedal fucking the great. Metal. Nobody actually wants to be here. We all want to dissipate, but yet every one of us wants to be able to say, yeah, we were at the fucking parade. Uh, no, but this, this is stupid. Get on with it. Yeah. Oh, Way to God. go, Braves. You did something else right. I don't care for the double-decker bus idea, though. Why? Those are all over London, and that makes it too close to soccer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will I guess I'll go with you on that. I don't know. I think it's kind of a cool idea, them standing at top and throwing T-shirts and shit out to people. But not this, not this fucking time. They were going too fast. This may sound weird, but I would like to see them ride a double-decker taco. <laughs> okay. I would love to see that. Ride a like hobby to, horse style. Okay. They got to put it between their legs taco. and yeah. march down the street. Saddle it down. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I'd, I'd be in with that. That's a fun date night. So the end of baseball season, I uh, just would like and to point out. And then they auction out. off the double-decker tacos. Okay. Uh, just would like to point out, congratulations to the Atlanta Braves. Uh, however, I, um, I'm really proud of my St. Louis Cardinals. They got th- they got five gold glove awards. They did. Is, isn't that five. the most in history? Uh, by one yes. Team? Yes, yeah. uh, I did. Uh, it was pretty awesome, so I'm proud of them. Uh, and one of them was not Yadier Molina. Well, yeah, he's 54 years old. He's still the best catcher in the fucking oh, league. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he no, is. he's not. Uh-huh. Uh, but anyways, moving on to the fun stuff, we had the craziest fucking week in NFL football history, in my opinion. Yeah. This was ridiculous. This It seemed like uh, everything you thought could happen didn't. Correct. Uh, Cleveland smashes Cincinnati. So Cincinnati legitimately went from the number one ranked team out of the AFC to now at the bottom of their division and not making the playoffs if the playoffs started today mm-hmm. in the matter of, I believe, <clears throat> was it one week or two? I think it may have been. Uh, I think it's two. Yeah, they came out strong, and they were setting the fucking pace, and then pick like six. In, in the within the 10-yard line, yeah, through a pick six, mm-hmm. and that just set the pace for the whole fucking game. Yep. Uh, Cleveland just ran right over their asses, which, you know, it's weird. they're in the AFC North, correct? Both these teams are? Yeah. <clears throat> And both out of Ohio, which was a Confederate state. Oh. So shouldn't they be in the South? Yeah. It's going to rise again, you know. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Uh, Not too much of an upset. Atlanta beats the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Trevor Simeon ends up starting for the Saints. I like that start a lot more than Taysom Hill. Okay. Uh, He's more of a stereotypical quarterback. But, yeah, the uh, Falcons beat the Saints. Uh, But the Giants beating the Raiders. Yeah. I don't see that coming either they've got a solid defense they have an okay defense for an nfc east team they've got a pretty good defense yeah but if, um but compared if to what they've been yeah, i guess but if you're out of the afc west 90 percent of those teams are solid offense I, team. well sort of i think we're gonna slowly see the decline of the Raiders. I think they had that surge wanting to rally, but all the shit going on with John Gruden and, Henry and the Ruggs. turmoil and, and yeah, rugs now. I think we're going to see that team kind of slowly slip into madness. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, we did talk about rugs last week, didn't we? A little bit. A little now, bit. Some more information has come out because, you know, computer or cars are all computerized now mm-hmm. and they keep track of the shit that you do. And I believe um, just a few seconds before the wreck, uh, Ruggs was going 156 miles an hour Jesus in his Corvette. He Christ. was going 120 some at the time of the actual collision, which tells me that it wasn't so much the alcohol as much as he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you cannot expect to control a vehicle in and out of traffic that's going at regular speed. I mean, you're going to kill somebody. Yep, you will. And I know because all through my teenage years, I was that asshole. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, here's my favorite one of the week. The Denver Broncos beat the Dallas Cowboys, baby. Yeah. They didn't beat them. They beat the shit they beat the fuck out, out of them. them. And it was, this was probably my most unexpected. They shut them out. Yeah, they did up until three minutes like, left to go in the fourth quarter. One of the top fucking offenses in all of the NFL. Quote, unquote. But we talk I mean, about this every year. By the year. numbers, they had been. But we talk about this every year. Yes, they played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, it turns out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are not the number one defense against quarterbacks and wide receivers. They actually are very easily thrown upon. They have a good rushing defense. Yeah, um, but they are the number one defense against skateboards. Yes, they and are. chicken coops. <laughs> yes. Which, so, or at least they're tied for number one. Okay. Well, I'll give you that then. But mm-hmm. at the same time... They played them very close and got beat. And then since then, they really haven't played a lot of good teams. Minnesota like, was teams. an okay team. It's an okay they, team. But they, they did it with a backup quarterback. Yes. Um, let's see. They beat somebody else fairly impressively. I can't remember. Oh, San Diego. Didn't they? Yeah. Oh. Or LA Chargers. Okay. That's they beat f- them. That's fair enough. Um, so, I mean, and, and I don't think that this is going to be the end of them. I hope it is. But uh, it probably won't be. I think it was just kind of a fluke week. Uh, I, they have a tendency to to shoot themselves in the foot every mm-hmm. single year, and I've been we've been saying it's like you you have the most talented team in the NFL, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and yet uh, you tend to fuck it up every single year. Mm-hmm. And I and I love it when you do that. Uh, by the way, I, me? No, no, no. The Cowboys. Oh. I love it. I didn't realize we had a direct connection to the Cowboys. Yes, yes, 100%. Uh, You are correct. They beat the Chargers, they beat the Eagles, they beat the Panthers, the Giants, uh, and they beat the Patriots in overtime, the Vikings, and then lost to the Broncos. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, Next one um, the Titans beating the Los Angeles Rams. I would like to encourage everyone to go back and listen to last week's show as I proclaimed. That the Titans have a very good defense, and Scotty <laughs> said, "No, not, they not, don't. No, they and don't. Without Derrick Henry, they are no good. They have a shit defense." And I said, "No, they have a very good defense." I insisted that they did, and Scotty insisted that they didn't. And I just want everyone to acknowledge that I was right, and Scotty was wrong, and Scotty should uh, maybe consider leaving the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they uh, again did the same thing. They they kicked the crap out of them too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's uh, kind of reaffirming their position uh, as uh, the number one ranked team in uh, in the NFL, at least at least the AFC. Now that being said, I have both of these teams' defenses on my fantasy team, and I picked the wrong one. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, yes, I did. Oh man, I, I went with the Rams because on paper it seemed to make sense. Mm, not so much. Mm-mm. No. So uh, there's that one, but the uh, story of the fucking week, the Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Um, nine to six. Woo! Oh. <laughs> what a barn burn. I think the big story of this was how Josh Allen kicked Josh Allen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. Picked him off twice, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um. So there is that rumor, and we kind of talked about it last week. The cover two shell mm-hmm. is how you are playing defense against these high-powered offenses. That That's not how I'm playing it. No? Not me. No, you're playing man. That's right? how these teams are doing it and seem to be successful. <laughs> There's a reason I'm not an NFL team, Scotty. Yeah. Mostly not enough players. Right. Uh, but you have the Chiefs, who barely ended up beating the, the Green Bay Packers mm-hmm. with a backup quarterback, and they're kind of doing the same thing. All these high-powered offenses, they're playing this yeah. this zone with a with a shell, and it's giving them problems. Mm-hmm. If so, you don't have a a outstanding offensive line that can give your quarterback time to pick those zones apart, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle. Yeah. So kudos to them. Go Jacksonville, baby. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. So yeah, there's uh, there's my rundown as far as that goes. Uh, another news: Cooper Cup is the first uh, wide receiver or player since Jerry Rice with a thousand receiving yards and ten receiving touchdowns in the first nine games of the season. I would put them two in the same category for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are the top two to ever do it, in my opinion. Jerry Rice, right behind him, Cooper Cup. <laughs> Well, you know, it's kind of impressive. It uh, is impressive. Does he fall off? Does he continue? 
Well, I think he's going to start getting double covered for sure. I, that's what they said two weeks ago. He's got he's got two touchdowns. I think f- uh, four times this okay. season in game. That makes in one eight. Game. That only makes eight touchdowns. Yeah, and then he's caught one and another. So he so. caught two touchdowns twice in one game. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fucking amazing. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, I saw this. The Jordan Love was the uh, starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers this week at Arrowhead uh, because of um, Aaron Rodgers having COVID. Boy, and they looked happy up there. They really did. If you did not see the video of them, they were in the very top, tippy top row. <laughs> I've sat in that row before. <laughs> First start as an NFL quarterback, and you get your family to come. I guess his mom hasn't missed a game since his red shirt uh, year of college, first red shirt year of college. And uh, Yeah, that really shows you what kind of pull he's got. <laughs> Couldn't get you a box, Mom. I know I'm the starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, but no, I can't uh, I can't get you a luxury box. Yeah, so I uh, hope they enjoyed their time up there, you know, Chiefs fans. Um, I, I don't. Even if you are the mother of somebody on the field with that fucking game, mm-hmm. that was the most, well, next to maybe this fucking 9-6 to six game, the most lackluster, boring fucking game. Yeah. And the Chiefs are so goddamn lucky that Aaron Rodgers didn't play. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in a six, or here in a second. No, in a six. <laughs> six, okay. Uh, Browns release Odell Beckham Jr., and if he clears waivers, he will be a free agent to sign anywhere. He says he wants to go to a to a team with a good quarterback that's going to get him the ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I think he um, – there's some talk about uh, Seattle taking him, which I don't necessarily think that's a good spot for him. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and now OBJ. Yeah, he's got a fucking complex where he has to be the guy. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's willing to play second fiddle to anybody. I and agree. he would be the third guy in that. Now, that would make them a very potent offense. Mm. But he he cannot get it through his head that he is not the same player he was five years ago. I agree. I, I think if you really want to send him to a team, as far as his talent goes... Um, his, I think Cincinnati would be a good spot because right Maybe. now they have only Jamar Chase that Burrow's throwing to a good, a good, yeah. s- another wide out. I mean, they have T Higgins as well, but you know, uh, what do you think, Fred? I think that time's wasting here, Fred. That's all. <laughs> <It's> all. <laughs> Sorry. We're getting that. We're getting out of the sports. I'm rushing through it. No, you guys do you. It's your show. Um, uh, let's see. It's Choo-choo. my show. It is. Oh, it's touche. Jeremy's show. Uh, last thing before we get to real shit or horse shit, uh, officials in the Bears uh, and Steelers game were pretty fucking awful. They were are, pretty Are bad. you asking if that's real shit or horse shit? No. Oh, I thought they were great. Uh, I thought no. they really put on a nice show. No, I'm just uh, I'm just telling the truth and how it was. Yeah. It, the referees have got to figure out that they are not the source of entertainment. Mm-hmm. They are there to kind of call it as it is. And that being said... The NFL rules officials or the rules committee or whatever needs to lighten the fuck up. I agree. I, I think these referees are doing like they're told. But the problem is, with me anyway, they're not being consistent. Yeah. Especially with pass interference calls. They'll have somebody who kind of scrapes a receiver and they'll call, throw the flag on that. And the next play, you can have the fucking defender riding on his back, yep. and they won't call it. The roughing the passer uh, penalties that were missed uh, on Justin Fields and given to Aaron, or not Aaron, was it? No, uh, sorry, who am I thinking of? Uh, ben Roethlisberger. Ren Roethlisberger, Jesus. Yeah. The, the roughing the passers that Big Ben got, and I think Fields got hit harder on several occasions. And didn't and it was right. I think it was at least two times that they should have been roughing the passer penalties. Um, it was kind of a you kind of knew who the referees were out for in that game just yeah. by watching it. Now that being said, the Bears played incredibly undisciplined football. They there had, were a lot of penalties that they were their own worst enemy I on. I can't remember if they said if they said twelve uh, at one hundred and fifteen yards of total penalized uh, yards, if I remember correctly. But so many of them were lined up off sides. Uh, yeah, there were two in a row. And there's some of them that didn't get called, where they were lined up off sides. Didn't see those, but the ones that did get called back to back on the were, same fucking guy, same guy, and he's a vet. 
Yeah. You know, it's like, what the fuck? You're shooting your own self in the foot. I think he got three different lined up offside. And it's not like they're trying to anticipate the snap and jumping no. off sides. He lined he was, up yeah. in the wrong fucking place. Right. But uh, no, the big one that I think I know where you're going with the taunting. Uh, that end. is actually the very first real shit or horse shit. Oh, okay. You know, well, then let's just right go right along. into it. Taunting should be a or should not be a penalty in the NFL. Real? It's got to be very blatant. That's um, they're being way too picky. Last night he didn't get in anybody's face. Hmm. He didn't. Now that being said. He needs to remember his fucking place. Yes, he made a good play. He he. It was a busted play that he found himself fortunate enough to be in a position to sack the quarterback. It's not like he just had this incredible pass rush. And then he stares down Pittsburgh's fucking entire sideline. Fucking take what you got and get <laughs> back. You're going to be on the fucking practice squad next week, dickhead. Quit doing your karate kicks and shit. But at the same time, you know, these guys are fucking pumped up. Yeah. They've worked their whole lives to get here. And when they do something good, they want to celebrate it. And they're confusing celebrating with taunting. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I was going to say, you Let can actually... have some fucking fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you can have a point on this one. No, no I, I totally agree. It, it's got to be blatant. It's got to be a, a fucking middle finger to him or something. I'm trying the, to entice a fight. Exactly. The rest of it is getting into an opponent's head. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, not verbally assaulting them, giving them signs like, come on, bring it on. You know, getting in their head is a defensive strategy. Yeah. And it needs to be allowed, you know, up up to a point. But before that point, it's up to the coach and the owner to punish that player if they believe it's gone too far mm-hmm. for I, that team. Uh, I, that's it. I'm kind of in my on my own island then. I think this is real shit. I think Tonning should not be a penalty at all. Um on a lot of the lines of what you guys said, I think there is taunting and then there is unsportsmanlike conduct. That's an, that's an actual another penalty. Taunting is very specific to trying to, you know, basically stare down or intimidate an opponent after you sack them. Well, they're already getting sacks and doing fucking dances. There's touchdown celebrations and shit like that. They're taking away the fun out of the NFL. The showmanship. The showmanship. Exactly. So, so in my example for this is actually in a completely different sport. Baseball, it was an unwritten rule to do a bat flip at one point in time after hitting a bomb off of a pitcher. And then... I can't remember his name in Toronto in a playoff game hits a bomb and then fucking flings that goddamn thing and all of a sudden all of these guys are doing oh, it more. Bat flip. I thought you said backflip. No bat flip. Yeah, it was Batista. Batista. Yeah, Batista, yeah, yeah, Batista in, that did. That was in the postseason. Yes. And, and then ever since, that is kind of the culture of baseball. It's moving towards, and it's getting more popular because these guys have pizzazz and entertainment factors, yeah. and that is entice, or that is actually what's taking away from the sport of football is not letting these guys put on a show. They are entertainers. Well, like with the Batista thing, I don't think that that was, that was even like trying to entertain or put on a show. That was, I've worked my whole fucking life to get here, and this is the biggest moment of my fucking yeah. life, and yeah. I'm gonna fucking embrace it yeah and and he celebrate i mean as long as it's not celebratory now when you're you know intentionally pointing at the fucking pitcher and rubbing his fucking face in it because sure. that guy he doesn't need that you fucking proved your point by knocking it a fucking mile out of the park yeah but the, even if he does that he doesn't that he didn't get thrown out of the game no he doesn't um but i mean that that is something that could potentially start a fucking brawl. Whereas if you're just celebrating the good thing you did, mm-hmm. that shouldn't be a penalty. But it's when you're trying to taunt and or like go on a fight. I, I agree that, with you. That is, and that's unsportsmanlike right. conduct. But there's, yeah, the the celebration part of it, I don't mind at all. And this kid, now there is one thing that does get on my fucking nerves, which is, and one of the biggest fucking guys who does this is uh, Tywan Matthew. He'll, okay. like, fucking lay the lumber on somebody late in the game, knock him down, get, and he'll get up and just, like, fucking flex and shit. And it's like, they've just torched your secondary for 450 <laughs> yards. You should be ashamed of yourself that just now you finally 
did God. something good. <laughs> and <laughs> he still caught the fucking pass, you dipshit. <laughs> That's not the point of the fucking game to hit him hard. It's your fucking job to keep him from catching the ball. Yeah, and on top of it, uh, this kid, I guess, it just got called up from the practice squad. Yeah. That made the yes. sack. So That's why I'm saying you need to remember your place, dude. I, you I, got lucky. It's, it's great that you want to celebrate this. Yeah. And he fucking shoulder bumped the ref. The guy was already pulling the flag. Yeah, out. he was. So it, it was coming regardless of but accidentally. That's the ref who had made some pretty awful calls Correct. already through the game. The whole point of it is, though, I think we can all agree in some manner that this either needs to be completely taken out as taunting, or at least let the players do their thing and until it gets ridiculous, then maybe throw a flag. But um, there, there comes a point to me when it's obvious whether it's celebratory or taunting, right? And that. They need to define that a lot closer. Yeah. All right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. The Carolina Panthers should not start Sam Darnold another game this season. Who else they got? You or me, Jeremy, at this point could probably go out and be a better quarterback. Because he had started off doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then he Sam Darnold himself. I think this is real shit. I think you you even go after a retired quarterback at this point. Go after Cam Newton. Get him back into Carolina. Well, I mean, if you're not going to do anything with him and your season's not going anywhere. It, that's the thing. <laughs> they kind of do still have a snowball's chance do? in hell. Yeah. Okay. Because they have a decent defense. The whole problem is Darnold. I kind of feel bad for making so much uh, fun of uh, who's it, Adam Gase. In uh, in New York, because now he's on another team that's doing decent, mm-hmm. and we made so much fun of him for feeling so bad for Darnold, but Darnold has been awful the last three games in a row. He threw three picks the other day. Yeah, I mean, and it's yeah, not, you might want to go with whoever your backup is, at least for a game. I think See it happens. See how that goes. I think it happens. I'm not sure who the backup quarterback is, but I think he gets started this week. Well, I really do. How about we you? wish him luck as we do all backup quarterbacks. That's right. How about you, Fred? You know, I think this falls in the uh, don't give a shit category. <laughs> so that's where I'm going to leave it. All right. I uh, think they should hire Fred. Right. Bring. I can probably throw a ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Fred, can you, uh, can you accurately throw a football? Uh, probably. Probably. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean it never, sounds like that's what he's doing. I, he, I never really have, but yeah, probably. I mean, that's what why he's not? not doing. Uh, next one, we kind of touched on this already. Uh, real shit or horse shit, the Chiefs would have definitely lost if Aaron Rodgers played last Sunday. The little I know about sports, this is real shit. <laughs> yeah, this they would have fucking lost. This is real shit. This, this is definitely real shit. Chiefs are in trouble. Very much so. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's not that Jordan Love or the Aaron Rodgers has any physical properties that would make him so much better, but what Aaron Rodgers gives you is – his experience and his ability to read the defense mm-hmm. and to audible at the line because the Chiefs defense is a leaky fucking sieve mm-hmm. that can't get anything together. They suck. Yeah, they're they're definitely not good. And, yeah, the Packers would have absolutely shredded them. They didn't score a fucking point in the second half. Mm-hmm. The Packers would have destroyed them with Aaron Rodgers. I agree 100%. That's some, uh, some real shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a controversial subject. Uh, Rex Ryan came out and uh, quoted and, and said this, Mike McCarthy's decision to leave Dak Prescott in the game after being down by 30 with three minutes and 15 seconds left was absolutely stupid as hell. This is real shit. This is very much real shit. I completely understand him being the starting quarterback in the fourth quarter. But after you're down 30 points with three minutes left to go in the game, he's he's your he's your franchise quarterback. You don't want him to get hurt. You're not going to win the game. Wave the white flag. Move on to the next game. Put in your backup. He did okay already this season. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've talked about this with other players and other quarterbacks. Like I, right now, Kyler Murray is not playing the next. You know, he didn't play last week, and he's not going to play this week probably. Because that's their franchise quarterback, and they don't want him to mm-hmm. be injured, especially in the position that they are to make the playoffs. Yeah. So I'm on Rex Ryan's side with this. That is real shit. You protect your franchise quarterback. The other thing, Mike McCarthy is an awful coach, and we're seeing it uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. So. I think there's something to be said for, you know, not wanting him to walk off the field, having lost all his confidence. Like you want him to try and do something. Right, just to have something to build off of. But 
more importantly, yeah, it's important to keep him safe, uh, especially when I don't think he's back at 100% with uh, his, what was it, his calf or yeah. whatever it was that was yeah. bothering him. But it, it's one of those deals where, you know, it's like in baseball. Even the best starting pitchers get shelled from time to time. Yeah, Clayton and Kershaw in the playoffs. When you're down by 10 runs, okay, uh, we lost. Fucking have a seat. Mm-hmm. We'll get him next time. Yeah, you, th- and, you take an outfielder yes. and let him pitch. And, and the thing about about football is, I mean, whether you lose by a point or by 50 points, a loss is a loss. Mm-hmm. It's just one fucking loss. So, yeah, when the game is out of hand like that, yeah, you might want to take your fucking your star player out of the game. I agree. Uh, last one, and then we get on to the fun so Fred can participate. You're good. Real shit or horse shit, the Cleveland Browns are better without OBJ. Real shit. Um, he, while he does have a lot of talent, mm-hmm. I think, and can help out whatever team he goes to with his physical abilities, uh, that locker room distraction that he brings, he's bringing a lot of off-the-field bullshit with him, yeah. and he is very much a narcissist. Horseshit, Jeremy. What did I say? Bullshit. No, you, you were using bullshit, but you meant horseshit is what you meant. It's all the same shit. I meant real shit. Yeah, you said real shit, but when you just now said that that, that brings in his bullshit, you meant to say horseshit. Don't you fucking correct me, <laughs> you condescending little <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> I will fucking stamp rejected on your forehead with my balls. If I have to, I know. I know. Uh, Son of a bitch! This is <laughs> this is my show. Uh, no, I 100%. and I'm the guest. <laughs> right. Uh, this is totally real shit. The Cleveland Browns are better without OBJ because of it, exactly what Jeremy said. You, you you tarnish or cancer a locker room. It is it's rough. You can even see the evidence of it with Baker Mayfield and having a bad relationship with him, and now and that's OB- the one guy you need to have a great relationship. Correct. With. And you have you have Baker or uh, sorry, you have OBJ's dad like tweeting out shit about about that mm-hmm. quarterback. I don't know about you, Jeremy, but if I'm the quarterback that has control over whether or not you get the ball or not. That kind of pisses me off, and I really don't want to throw yeah. it to you, especially if I have pieces around me that are trying to grow their careers that are actually trying to be mm-hmm. m- much more positive. So um, with that being said, if you are an NFL team out there that really needs a wide receiver, do you take the opportunity, quote-unquote, to get OBJ whenever he clears wa- waivers, if he does? I don't I, – I, I wouldn't want him on my I, team. I wouldn't want him either. I wouldn't want him either at all, especially on if in the Seahawks made it sound like, well, we're not telling you if we're going to use our waiver, but we're not telling you we're not. Like that is specifically a team to where I'm like, yeah, that's going to be a bad thing. Now, how does this work? Uh, if they pick him up off waivers, do they have to pick up what his contract, Correct. the remainder of his contract? Okay. Yeah, but if he at, clears, which I think is a. Bad idea. Anyway. Bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. You want you want to sign him as a free agent, and he wants to go to a team that is a competitor, which is horseshit. Yes, I agree. Because I mean, number one, Cleveland is a competitor right now. Yeah, sort of. And I mean, coming you off know, a big win. I guess when things aren't good, you try to make them better. Not yeah. I want to go someplace that that showcases me. Mm-hmm. I want it to be about me. And he want, but he's even said like he wants to go to a team that's that's a competitive like that's in a good position to make the playoffs, mm-hmm. and so that means good luck finding a team that's going to make you their star. Like right. the only one I can honestly honestly say um, would that would be better than the Bengals would actually be still in the same division, and that would be the Baltimore Ravens because they have um, Hollywood Brown. And Mark Andrews as a yeah, tight end. I think they're going to win that division. I do too. That that is the only one that I can that meets all of his criteria. Mm-hmm. Because then you have Hollywood Brown going on the long on basically long routes, post routes, um, and then you then you have OBJ. Boy, you want to piss off everybody in Cleveland? Yeah, go to the old Cleveland. <laughs> go team. to the old Cleveland team. There you go. So, anyways, that's real. Just flood it. <laughs> That's our rookie of the year. <laughs> uh, the Henry Rowan Gardner. Mm-hmm. Rosenberger. Yeah, yeah. Funky butt loving himself. That's right. Uh, all right. So moving on. Now we get to get to the fun parts. Now we get to. keep my mic up here. Is that cool with you guys? No, because I can't hear you. Uh, That's the that... best part. <laughs> no, Jeremy. Fair enough. Jeremy wants to be heard. 
Okay, now he we doesn't got... have to be. He can go home. <laughs> <He'd> be <laughs> happy to. <laughs> right. Now we got overrated or underrated. Uh, self-explanatory. Do we think random items are overrated or underrated? Uh, somebody says our Q&A for our TikTok channel is up. Uh, I still can't see it. So. I'm just now reading these. I'm pretty sure we've done two of these, but we'll do them again. Why not? Mm, maybe. Who knows? I know one of them we have Possibly. just last week. Uh, no, we didn't. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Anyway, uh, first one, overrated or underrated tailgating at football games? I'm pretty sure we've done this before, but I'm going to say that it's underrated as hell. Really? I love tailgating at football games. I love tailgating. I I would go tailgate at a football game without having a ticket to the game. <laughs> yeah. Some people do I, that. Dude, a I, lot of people the, do that. Fucking the smells of a good tailgating parking lot. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, but all the I, people. You get in your own group. Oh, okay. You don't have to. They're not all invited to your little huddle there. Mm-hmm. You get your parking spot and your space around it. Set up your cornhole boards. Yep. Your tents. Fucking, fucking barbecue. People with campers get are your, out there. Get your hibachi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go underrated as well. Uh, I agree. And it was a really cool experience the very first time I did it. Uh, I was an Oklahoma Sooner fan going to a K-State game at K-State, and I was welcomed with open arms on, into a K-State, like, tailgate party. Probably not after the game as much, but... No, uh, no I think they won, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> I think they may have beat us. It was, uh, it was I don't know, it was in Manhattan. But it was a good time. It was overall a good time. Okay. How about you there, Brady? Well, you know me. It's just fucking overrated as can be. (laughs) My only reason it is, it is a lot of fun. It does smell good. I do go to a lot of K-State games um, in tailgate. But it's way too much fucking work. (laughs) It's like camping without the camping. Exactly, without the fun. (laughs) And then you get get drunk as fuck in two to three to four hours. Then you got to pack it up and go the fuck somewhere else. Or you got to go to the game. Yeah, same yeah, that's shit. what sucks is having to stop <laughs> drinking and go to, the game. go to the game. Especially if you go to a place with a dry stadium at a college. <laughs> yeah, a dry stadium that really sucks. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I but, think it's overrated. I'm sure. I'm sure it's different everywhere. I'm sure they're still fun, but then all these drunk motherfuckers are in the parking lot still partying, and I'm trying to get out. Just, well, you stay. Keep partying. Keep yeah. camping. Some of us have jobs. I doubt it. <laughs> I know those motherfuckers stay in the stadium. Don't. I've seen your haircut. There's no way you're employed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wear a hat. That's exactly why I wear a hat. Uh, Comb it over. Right. Uh, Overrated or underrated uh, women wearing high heels. Underrated. Oh, shucks. Underrated. Okay. Yeah. Still underrated. Yeah, that's like, and I, out of every. It's better when I whisper it to you. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I, I don't i don't know that it is i was waiting for you to declare it and... it's it's underrated dude it's yeah, underrated. It's, i'm it's, sure it hurts like hell i could never do it but your legs and butt but look phenomenal damn. yeah but and i'm damn. and i'm short any yeah. like my wife is about the same height as me oh you're not talking cock because you're short there too yeah from what i understand right uh but i don't even mind her being taller than me when she wears heels because she looks good she looks better than you all the time. Oh, Everybody looks a different better debate. than me. God. Anyway, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, I think it's underrated as well, and I'll tell you why. Ladies, I love watching you stumble. <laughs> I really do. That is a good one, too. There is nothing funnier than a woman who thinks she's very sexy, striding along, and then just, oh, God. <laughs> Breaks the heel. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Or their leg. Whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You know the worst part about heels? What the men end up carrying them halfway through the night? Yeah, that's true. It that ends up being like not their me. purse. I fucking am disgusted by feet. <laughs> I will not touch someone's shoes. <laughs> this is new information. You didn't know that about me? No. Oh, fucking! <laughs> most people's feet are dirtier than their assholes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is true. I don't a like lot of feet people either, but I carry shoes. A lot of people spend a lot of time washing their assholes. They don't spend near as much time washing their feet, and the inside of shoes are fucking gross. You should try uh, the uh, ball deodorant <laughs> for your for manscape on your on your feet. You should try shutting the fuck up. <laughs> That's what you should do. Just mind your own fucking business. Oh, just say anyway. All right. Uh, so we all agree. Underrated. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated daylight savings time. This is one that we did last week. 
Did we? Yes, because I declared that a founding father could suck my dick. Ben Franklin, <laughs> the father, the inventor of Daylight Savings Time, the guy who thought the idea should be Damn it, he's thing. right. He's right. He's 100% right. Fuck him. Fuck Richard Nixon. <laughs> I think it, I think it just makes me mad that we 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 need to do it again anyways. I I want to reiterate that this this sucks. This is yes. a shit idea. As shit I idea. said last week, I think we should just keep falling back <laughs> and never spring forward. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but what do you think, Fred? You're new. No, I agree, hundred percent. Stupid, yeah. overrated. Driving home. I like this oh. time of year better. I like when it gets dark earlier. I you are a fucking demon. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I hate driving home I, and it's already dark. I hate when it's like 7 o'clock at night and still light out and it's like, oh, this is when nighttime starts. No. This is, it's like, no, this is still day. When when you're somebody who typically goes to bed around 9.30, yeah. I don't want it to still be light out. It's not our fault, you old fuck. It's that I'm a hard worker and get up early. Oh, I get up early. It's too. hemorrhoids. Oh, call. That's, it's right. It's hemorrhoids. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? That my hemorrhoids have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh well. I mean, I have them. Hey, yes. We've already moved on from your hemorrhoids. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> overrated or underrated? Sign language translators. Underrated, and I'll give you the only reason why. <laughs> have you ever seen Nelson Mandela's <laughs> funeral? Exactly what I was gonna use. That man <laughs> deserves to be put on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Did we? Did we? Did I just stumbled across well, he's this? By far the most famous sign language interpreter of all time. <laughs> well, actually, no, he's not. He's not a sign language interpreter. A lot of what he talked about was love and cigarettes. <laughs> apparently, if people, but he was just throwing him fucking hands around <laughs> like he was at a fucking like he's doing the hand jive. Oh my god, it's overrated for me. If you guys do not know this story, this this man somehow. Made it to one of the most public events of all time, the 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 funeral for Nelson Mandela. Yes, there were presidents from other countries that were speaking at this fucking thing. These are like world leaders that are attending this fucking funeral, and this guy, you're watching him, and he kind of looks like he's doing sign language. But if you don't know what sign language is, you. You just kind of look past it and don't give a shit. Oh, he was he was doing sign language. It's it's been translated by other sign language interpreters. It's just garbage. Like I say, a lot of it about love and cigarettes, <laughs> so, smoking. Most most of it is smoking. So actual deaf people got fucking <laughs> pissed. I guy. I like to think that they thought that's what was being said. <laughs> So I think it is so... Did I say overrated? I bet, yes, underrated. Mm -hmm. Because of this story alone, this guy, not a sign language translator, makes it to the fucking championship level of sign language translator. You know what would be really fucked up? What? If it turned out that that never actually happened. <laughs> and it was a true Mandela, it was a Mandela effect. effect. Oh. At Mandela's funeral. We all remember it happening and it never actually happened. Wow. Anyways, how about you, Fred? Oh, it's underrated. You know, I don't. I'm gonna have to check that video out. You guys are talking about, but I mean, Fuck, do it I now. Did, you ain't doing nothing. That's true. I just like them at Snoop Dogg concerts and yep. all that shit. They, that's the other one. They go one. crazy. They go nuts at at rap concerts. I think it's fucking hilarious. You know, they they really got popular when COVID came out. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every yeah. every public official that made any kind of a public announcement had a they sign language translator. interpreter. Which in this day and age, you don't have closed captioning. <laughs> motherfuckers really <laughs> really yeah. what is your fucking tv from 1952 uh, you gotta let it warm up <laughs> we've already said this on the show before but maybe maybe they uh can't read closed caption they can only read braille you think deaf blind. people only read <laughs> braille huh good job <laughs> that, would, that would be well yeah, they all they've got bigger problems <laughs> then they're like they're fucking retarded <laughs> They're all the same, you know? How would you have liked to have been that Braille instructor? <laughs> Being like, you just look at it. <laughs> yeah, just look at it. Just look at it. Read bump, my lips. Bump. Bump. Look, look, look. Oh, that's good <laughs> shit. No, but all blind people, you said only only how many? Per, what's the percentage? It's of? like 7% <laughs> read so, Braille. That's fucking crazy. 
Okay, last one. Over- the rest of them just stare at books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn the page every now and then. <laughs> right. Uh, last one. Uh, overrated or underrated Christmas music in November? Brett? Straight down. <laughs> Straight fuck down. There's, what, seven Christmas songs in the entire fucking universe, and we have to hear them on repeat for, what, eight weeks? Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Cancel them. Yeah, it's so it's overrated. Um, I don't like Christmas uh, commercials in November. Uh, we haven't hit Thanksgiving yet. I appreciate those companies that do the holiday commercials sometimes because they kind of package deal Thanksgiving and Christmas and shit like that. Because I, I like, uh, I'm not one of those guys that's all pissed off about saying Merry Christmas, but I hate the fact that they play Christmas music at my work for two and a half months. Fuck mm. off. Mm-hmm. Overrated. I hate the fact you have a job. Thanks. Uh, I would like to see you homeless, to be honest. Uh, in Almost fact, there. I'm really working on getting you relocated out of your home and onto the street. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, I've been telling people in some government agencies some things about you. Oh. Um, but uh, no, it, it is overrated. It is fucking stupid. Uh, there is a holiday in between that you're completely fucking ignoring <laughs> by doing that is so disrespectful to Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Uh, therefore, it's disrespectful to Native Americans, you racist cocksuckers. <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly. <clears throat> but uh, no, it's, it, it is... You don't know the obnoxiousness of Christmas music until you spent a week in December at Disneyland. Uh, it is blaring over the fucking loudspeakers... And it's that old timey yeah. big band Bing oh, yeah. Crosby and fucking Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin kind of shit, rat packy fucking I, a lot of I, horns. I, it it's actually okay. I, I take this back. There is one fucking genre of Christmas music that I can stand, and it's the that jazzy Charlie Brown Christmas. I, I music. Like, I, I like, like that soundtrack. I, I like the Sinatra stuff. I, I, I really do like it. Well, Sinatra. you're a fucking moron. Okay. You already had your turn. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I am actually against uh, Christmas music in December. So uh, really? I, I am against Christmas, which you would never know it by the house I live in, because that has started. <laughs> for her. It's in November, man. She, she's got a lot of stuff to put up. Yes, she does. <laughs> How many and she's t- going to have a lot of shit to put away. Yeah. How many trees? By- How many trees are we at? Uh, honestly, I've lost count. We've got another seven footer this year, which brings that total to five. Jesus. Um, we got the nine footer, uh, probably a dozen four footers, a half dozen three footers, and countless mini fucking trees. I mean, Jesus, you got a rainforest. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we're like the Rainforest Cafe. Come yep. over, get our shitty ribs. Right. Ketchup spaghetti. <laughs> well, that is overrated or underrated. Uh, again, as far as. Uh, suggestions for that i'm kind of sticking to the the instagram stuff right now because they took away our q a and if it's there i haven't had a chance to figure out how to put it back on so same thing goes for questions and pray guntas which uh we take some some fan questions uh others uh if i if i can't get any fan questions and i just try to find some good ones and so uh this week uh we do have a fan question uh and this is from at big truck shenanigans Wants to know what would your CB radial handle be? Pogo dick. <laughs> God, no wonder your wife likes Christmas. Mm-hmm. Pogo dick, huh? Pogo dick, yeah. Uh, okay. Because I can't. I'm like, remember that old DuckTales video game? Yeah. Where Scrooge McDuck could hop on his cane? Yeah. That's what I'm like. <laughs> okay. You know, I see it. Uh, By I, that, I mean web feet. I went. Uh, I went with uh, Ricky Ricardo, twenty twenty one. Really, you put the numbers at the end. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. you don't have to do that. But I did. Ricky Ricardo, I'm, huh? I'm the 21, 2021 Ricky Ricardo. Are you? Yeah. Look just, just like a little him. boom, check a boom, boom, <laughs> check a pound. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's me. How about you, Fred? I uh, I went with shit break. Shit break. Shit break. Anybody that knows me, I shit about five times a day. If I don't, I'm worried. <laughs> that's so that's most time where I'm going to be. So shit break. Yeah, that's uh, I can attest to that as a true statement. Uh, next question: lines you wouldn't hear in a weight loss commercial. So many. Mm-hmm. I think my first one was, or if you just get off your fat ass, you <laughs> yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Um, I went, uh, do you want to be skinny? Well, uh, you've got no hope. I just want your money. That's mine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you tried counting calories, counting carbs? Are you tired of the nonsense? <laughs> try ass fucking. <laughs> You don't it's think worth a shot. You try to couldn't, couldn't else, hurt. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it probably does hurt for weight loss. Uh, oh, for, for weight yeah, loss. If anything, loss. it might burn some calories. Exactly. <laughs> so it's okay. That's true. All right. The bigger the ass, the bigger the burn. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Um, let's see. That's a good tagline. That's it. Is um, <laughs> it's an okay tagline. <laughs> I, I rate taglines for a living. I don't know if you knew that about me. One to I'd ten. I give that one a six. Okay. Hey, see, that's better than norm. All right. Uh, next question. Now, that's a great tagline. Better than Norm. Oh, cheers. That's an eight. Mm. See? I'm good at this. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the shivers. See? That's the piss shivers. I, I just had them. You, oh, you pee? No, but I don't I don't pee, but I had the shivers. They're really random. They exist. Well, the shivers exist. Oh. You, the piss had nothing to do with it. True, but they always happen when you're peeing. Well, don't blame the piss. <laughs> okay. Now, that's a tagline. Don't, hashtag don't blame, don't blame the, the piss. The piss. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for a urologist. That's uh-huh. A good uh-huh. One. All right. Which I go see on Friday, by the way. Good job. I'm huh? mm-hmm. proud of you, buddy. Is he gonna he's gonna retighten your spring pogo dick? No, I uh, I had uh, kidney stones a year ago. And yeah. It's my yearly checkup. Oh. oh. You gonna hope, wear that uh, toner and deodorant? More. Huh? You gonna wear that toner and deodorant? Make him nope. You know, nope. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go a couple days <laughs> without showering. I'm gonna run a mile. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> yeah. He could probably do it. On the elliptical. On the elliptical, <laughs> yeah. Oh, finally, next next question. Jeez. Uh, welcome signs for U.S. states if they were truthful. Uh, I got mine. Let's hear it. Welcome to Massachusetts. Get fucked in traffic. With your cockies. Okay. Yeah. yeah we need to rate on that one. They, they suck. That's, That's not really a like, tagline. It's kind of a tagline. I'm going to give that a two just because Scotty said it. Their traffic uh, sucks there. Uh, I've got Boston. two. Boston. Okay. I've, I've got two. Well, let's hear uh, it. Welcome to Montana where no one can hear you scream. <laughs> or That's a good one. welcome to Delaware. You're welcome. <laughs> well, fuck. You damn right, <laughs> Delaware. And mine was mine was just stolen from Wayne's World. Welcome to Delaware. Yeah, <laughs> Delaware. I love Delaware. I hate to call bullshit on this. I hate to be that guy, but it's oh, I'm in Dover. <laughs> Is it? That's what it was. That was what the back. Or no, I'm in Delaware. Oh, I'm in Delaware. I'm in Delaware. Not welcome to. Let's Delaware. go to Delaware. Look, I'm in Delaware. Yeah, imagine being magically whisked away to somewhere like Diddly, Delaware. Diddly. Are you sure it wasn't Dover? <laughs> it's Delaware. We're we're movie I'll line. I'll bet you an oatmeal cream pie. I can't have those. <laughs> you cocksucker. <laughs> Dirty cocksucker. Fred uh Fred stumbled into like a giant like twenty four pack. <laughs> During the break, I'm gonna go sneak some into the fucking bathroom and just sitting in there stuff them in your mouth. pants around my ankles. <laughs> Jerking it, Shane eating their fat. fucking oatmeal pie. <laughs> <laughs> There's no carbs in this. Uh, anyways. But a trans fucking. Uh, um, next question. Unusual times to use the phrase, ta-da. Well, I thought when your stepsister's stuck in something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your stepsister, huh? Yeah. Or is something stuck in her? Ta-da. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's see. I, I think uh, whenever you clear a room with a good fart, mm. I think that's a good one. Okay. Ta-da. That's a good one? Yeah. How about uh, you, Jimmy? Uh, when you're taking a leak on a living room carpet. <laughs> and and I want to be with very... The, with the pee shivers? <laughs> and I don't get those. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to be very clear about this. I'm not talking about like when you pull your dick out going, ta-da, <laughs> or... When you're done, you know, and you see the big puddle going, ta-da. No. While you're peeing, <laughs> midstream, just make eye contact with somebody. Ta-da. <laughs> and then you go. got a ways to go because you really go, had man. to go. Because you've been saving you it up all day. You got eye contact the whole time you're Absolutely. going, Absolutely. 
I, I, th- I think the, the dick reveal is a good ta-da, too. Just in public. I know, but that would make sense. That's just because you want to look at dicks. No, no, I would do that. I would I would go and just like whip my dick out and be like, ta-da! Right, and that would give somebody a chance to go, what are you doing <laughs> before I start peeing? Because I'm old and it takes me a little while. I'm going sure. to the urologist. Get, get off my ass, okay? Right. Um, but no, I think whilst in midstream, <clears throat> as though all of this is just a magic trick happening before your eyes, a sleight of hand, maybe do that thumb trick <laughs> while I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, last question. What would you give that on a scale, Scotty? A five. All right. Yeah. All right. Then I know it's good because you <clears throat> made it average. Right. Uh, last question. What? Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was reading that wrong. Want to know what gets rid of a headache? Try blank. Oh, we went with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Where were you at? I, I thought we had picked around. a different one. I wasn't sure. Yeah, this one. Okay. I got mine. Go for it. Decapitation. Gets rid of it real quick. Yeah, that gives you neck pain. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but it's not a headache. <laughs> not a headache, so, though. It's Tran- a point. It's trans transfers it there. So, How about you there, Fred? Uh, you know, I said try not being a cunt. Yeah. Quit complaining about a headache. Exactly. You puss. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. That guy that, that got uh, was in concussion protocol because he had a headache and, and behind his eyes was hurting. Fuck you, bro. Yeah. Fucking suck it up. Suck yeah. It up. Get back out there on the field. Your team needs you. <laughs> That's right. Hey. How about you, Jeremy? Excedrin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, yeah. Strength. Uh, no, Hard I was strength. Gonna, Dropping a cinder block on your foot, you, <laughs> you barely notice your head is even there at that point. Yeah, that really Take a sucks. Lesson from major pain. And, yeah, and believe me, for me to come into that, because you know how I feel about feet. Yeah, yeah. So that took a lot for me to get into that. That's true. I'm I'm very impressed. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our uh, question segment for this week. Again, for right now, until I figure out the Q and A link, uh, go to our Instagram, and uh, you can send them in a message that way. Uh, Facebook sucks, and so even though it's the same company. All right, but now we get to move on to a very entertaining part of the episode. We get to get on to the draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's draft. I took last last week, but because we have a guest, me and Fred, uh, he gets first pick. Uh, Derek won, and uh, Jeremy came in second. But he gets the championship picks, I get the middle pick, and Fred gets the first pick. This week's draft. uh, At heart, I am a champion. You are. Uh, I I do believe you are. My Um, friends. mm Mm-hmm. This, uh, will you keep on fighting? Till the the end, end, man. Okay. This week's draft is the most iconic Hollywood voices. Okay? So not their acting, just their voices. All right? Fred, you get first pick, and if you don't pick the one-on-one... I mean, there's so many, but to pick first? The first, the best. I think I have to pick Morgan Freeman. Oh, Really? I think so. I, I think that's the 102. Well, good. You cannot get it either. I I think the just you can't the even voice, say it. the voice is James Earl Jones. Mm-hmm. That is the 101. He's Mufasa. He's Darth Vader. He's in the freaking yep. field of dreams. He's the voice of CNN. Him, this is CNN. This oh, I didn't is. know that. Yeah. Oh, love you. <clears throat> All right, Jeremy. You get next one. Well, for me, there's really only one real choice here, and that's, of course, LL Cool J. Um, <laughs> you know, ladies love Cool J. Ladies love Cool J. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm going to, since uh, we all seem to be running down this train anyway, I'm going to go Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. And you get two. Um, probably because he maybe was the most impersonated voice in the '80s, by comedians Jack Nicholson. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's that's a good one. 
I you uh, can't handle the truth. Yeah, that's that's fucker. That's a good one. Um, I wish he would have ended it with motherfucker. Yeah, I I do too. I do too. I'm I'm gonna go a little bit. Uh, I don't think he's the best, so I'm gonna go past that. I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go Patrick Stewart. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So beam me up, Scotty. But he is known for that voice. It's just kind of soft. Yes. So I'm going to go with that. And Fred, you get two. Shit. <clears throat> no. Oh, he's not on there? No, he's not. He's not on that list. No. Okay. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna go with Clint Eastwood. Damn it, that was the one I was hoping to come back. That's a good one. Wait, are you talking that song by the Gorillas? That is a good one. Yeah. Feel good. <laughs> and it happened. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna back him up hard with Sean Connery. Yeah, that's another good one. Good picking. Good well, thank picking. You. All right. Man, oh, okay, okay, all right. I uh, I do have a kind of a sleeper that I want to come back to. Um, Don't do it. But I think again, I kind of look at the the impersonators doing uh, this guy all the fucking time, and uh, that is Liam Neeson. I will find you. I will find you. And That's I have a particular I was, I was set of skills. To think of it. <laughs> I have a very specific yes. set of skills. That, that's one thing. He doesn't look intimidating. Yeah, he's At tall. All. And he's old. Yeah. That's it. And yet, for some reason, he's a complete ass kicker in every movie he's been in since Taken. Yep. 100%. I don't get it. I don't either. Jeremy, you get two. Well. Just don't take mine. Oh, I'm going to take I'm going to take the I'm gonna fuck take out of yours. No, don't. don't take. Please don't. Uh, take that. Let's no. see here. <laughs> Take it hard. <laughs> Take it hard, you mother. Take it, Dale. Take it. Um, I am going to go with, I don't see it even on the list here, Ooh. but I'm going to take it. Okay. Jimmy Stewart. Okay. And then, boy. Um, don't do God, it. I don't even know here. Don't do it. Who did I take first? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Can I take him again? No. <laughs> no, he's already gotten by you. God damn it. Come on, Adrian. See, I can't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm I'm gonna, I'm going off list here. Joe Pesci. Okay. That is a good one. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. That's my uncle. They fuck you at the drive thru. <laughs> Mar- with these cell phones. Am uh-huh. I funny to you? Yep. That and oh, I look like some kind of clown. Yeah, here to amuse you. Uh, still, the best is my cousin Benny. Yeah, that's, that's a great one. That's the best one. So I wore this ridiculous, ridiculous thing, thing. <laughs> for you. For you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you did not take mine, and uh, it's one of the most like again impersonators do them all the time. Hayden Panettiere. <laughs> no, uh, Christopher Walken. He was he was on my list. No. I wasn't getting there. He, he, used, he used to be funny until he sorry, kept trying to be Christopher Walken. No, back before he realized he was had a stupid way of talking. That's when he was funniest. I now he plays it up so much. I don't so, care for it. I don't care. I don't care what you care about. Okay. You don't care about a fucking thing. All right, well, whatever. Uh, all right, Fred, you get two. The last two. Yep, you get la- your last Shit. two. I mean, for iconic. Uh-huh. I, Gotta pick Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ooh, Arnold. I mean, you have to as far as iconic. Yeah, as I agree. you can pick him out. Some people just hate his voice, though. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And after that, I mean, I've got two I really want to pick. Shit. We may have the same two. No, because they're not on that list. One oh. of them's on that list. I think. Oh. I'm going to screw it up, but I'm going to take Adam Sandler. Oh. The Penguin. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Just to I'm looking at for a penguin just to be walking around. around. <laughs> <laughs> Nudie Magazine Day. Yep. Um, I also have two. I like one better, 
and so I'm gonna take it. Uh, but Al Pacino. That was my other one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I I have one other one that I want to bring up uh, after you pick your last pick there, Jeremy. Okay. I I need a clarification on the rules. Yeah. Has These to be have a person. To be, uh, oh, the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't take Siri. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. No. Uh. The, okay. Does this have to be a Hollywood voice, or can this just be an iconic, like, just well-known, famous person that has a voice? I mean, it that says everybody, Hollywood that voices. Everybody recognizes. I, if it gets to Hollywood, I, I think that's it. It's just iconic voices. God damn it! There I'll are just two. do that. I'll just do iconic you know voices. Char- you wanna, we don't, it doesn't even have to be Hollywood. You want All Charlie right. Chaplin? Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> He's got a great voice. Really uh, I am going to go with Walter Cronkite. Oh, oh. Walter Cronkite. He's got a, He's had to have been in one movie. Th- this might be the first time in my life where it came down to either Walter Cronkite or Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop has been in movies. My, yes. my last pick, a lot of people don't know um, if they're younger. And uh, or my not my last pick, my, yeah, because they're all going to know Walter Cronkite. No, yeah. yeah, they will. They, they, they probably. They won't. And that's they the way it was. was. You know why? Because young people who are was stupid. The, who was the other radio guy? And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That was Walter Cronkite. No, yeah. was it? No, yeah. that was Paul. That was Evan Almighty. Or uh, no, yeah, yeah, that was Bruce that Almighty. Was, yeah. but, Bruce Almighty. But and that's the rest of the story. Oh. Oh, Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Hello, America. That was a great voice, it's too. Friday. It's only Tuesday, uh, actually. I It'll say, be Wednesday when they hear this. I just thought of another one, too. Casey Kasem. Hmm. Casey Kasem would have been a good one. a good one. Uh, but the one that I wanted to give a shout-out to is uh, Sam Elliott. Yeah. I had oh, him, fuck, I, yeah. I had him down, but uh, I was it, trying to beat your picks. If, if you... If you don't know who Sam Elliott is, you're a younger person. Sam Elliott is the one that everybody's using, like the Bud Light commercials now mm. on TikTok that's going Beef. around. Beef. Yeah. It's what's for dinner. Not Yeah, that. Or do you have blah, 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 something. Fuck Red Bull or some shit yeah. like that. Uh, James Adomian, who is a brilliant comedian and an impressionist, very good impressionist, does a great Sam Elliott voice. And, oh, great. And he talks about that whole beef. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all know about beef. <laughs> it's the most popular meat in the country. What? What's next? Chicken. Pl- plates. It's what dinner's on. <laughs> what dinner's on. <laughs> well, they didn't used to have those. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, guys. Well, that is our draft. I will have it up on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines podcast to, well, uh, today sometime it'll be wednesday around the lunch hour generally sometimes it's earlier than that it just kind of depends on uh how what i feel like uh, but you can vote on your favorite voices um by uh using or clicking on the corresponding emoji uh but i'll have that up on wednesday around lunchtime if not a little bit earlier uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite segment this is what we like to call the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. On uh, September 1st, 1983, Korean Airlines Flight 7 departed from Anchorage, Alaska on its way back to Seoul, Korea. Unfortunately, they made a navigational error and wound up flying through prohibited Soviet airspace. The Soviets mistook the uh, Boeing 747 for a U.S. aerial reconnaissance spy plane. They responded by sending a uh, Su-15 fighter jet up to intercept it. And um, without ever properly identifying the aircraft, they fired a couple of warning shots. But as the pilot of a uh, large commercial aircraft, it's actually very hard to see things going on on the outside of your plane. So um, they just shot the fuckers down with uh, air-to-air missiles. Wow. Killing all 269 passengers aboard. Uh, unfortunately, it would be another nine years till the families of those passengers ever found out what happened because the Soviets covered this up until 1992. And now your child can remake the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, come fly the friendly skies. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for that, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. And thank you to Legos. Keep sponsoring us. Um, 
Anyways, uh, now we get to move on to our shitty situation. This week's shitty situation is, would you rather always have to listen to Christmas music year round, baby? Or would you rather work with someone who, after completing any basic task, they scream, ta-da! <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> what? Uh, is, is suicide an option? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and you work with this person all day long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even yeah. overtime. Yeah. Working oh, overtime, Jeremy. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, who you want first? I, I, uh, this is I'd, bad. I'd, this is so bad. <laughs> this is I'd, so bad. I'd, I'd, that's why I want suicide. I'd have to take Tada just because I could punch him. <laughs> I can't punch Christmas music. Uh, I can't nut tap Christmas music. <laughs> like, I, uh, this is tough. I, mm, I'm trying to think if I work with anybody that I can't fucking stand just whenever they talk. And I, I think there are a couple that I, that do, and I work with daily. So I'm, I'm probably going to da too. Yeah. I'm going to da. Ugh, that's going to suck. That would <laughs> that suck. That would fucking suck. Oh, you'd want to punch that person so bad. Uh, Jeremy. Um, Come on, Jack Frost. Here's the thing about the guy saying ta-da. It wouldn't just be that. I guarantee you that fucker also says, you working hard or hardly working? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, just shit like that. And I uh, see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah, yeah, that guy can suck my cock. Um, I have grown used to Christmas shit all year round. While I don't like Christmas music in any way, shape, or form, or Christmas for that matter, um, when my wife is not decorating for Christmas, it is Christmas, or she's taking down Christmas stuff, or she's buying Christmas shit. This is a whole year round thing for me anyhow, and I've just learned to live with it, so I'm going to go with the Christmas music. Good luck to you. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, you, you're going to have to like try to change up like artists that are singing the same Christmas song. You know, like in sync. Mm-hmm. So, so my oh, whole it's all thing, Trans Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> since oh. yeah, and since when did they be, they become trans? Is that the hip thing? I don't know. Who knows? Like, since they got shot down by the Soviets <laughs> in their seven forty seven. Oh um, man! No, but seriously, why can't people write more Christmas songs? Um, because all of the good ones are already been, have already been written. Yeah, it's like they they decided okay, these are the standards. This is it, and we can just re-record these over and over again. What more can exactly. you sing about? I, you know what really pisses me off about Christmas music? I want to get this off my chest. <laughs> okay, uh, I I believe is the uh, the Dean Martin version of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer when he. Goes through the whole name of him and then goes, but yeah, do you yeah. recall the most famous reindeer of all? Right. Mm-hmm. Well, if we can't recall him, then he's scarcely the most famous, is he? <laughs> you don't know what fucking yeah. famous means, do you, jack off? <laughs> and you of have course, to listen to that over, over and over, over again. You know, of course you know Dasher uh-huh. and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. Of course. But, but do you recall the most famous? <laughs> no, like, shit. Oh, Jesus, there's that one. The one that was above all of them. The one right out fucking front. No, I don't remember him. <laughs> That's not in any of the commercials or anything like that. Whenever you see, like, Santa Slay and all the movies, there's very rarely a, 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 a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Very rarely. Right, because yeah. he's not, he's not, he's not a real that, thing. He's not that famous. No, and uh, <laughs> fairly recent invention. Um but I, that is still one of my favorite Christmas specials just because of how ridiculous it is. The Rudolph Red yeah. Reindeer, the clay one? Come on, gang. From now on, we won't let Rudolph play in any of our reindeer games. <laughs> That's pretty good. I love that oh, line. <laughs> it's just so fucking mean right in front of his face because his nose is red. So fuck him. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised I'm that's gonna, not racist. I'm going to encourage the fucking rest of the kids to hate you. <laughs> not, not not just come to the conclusion on your own. No, they should hate you. Not because you're an asshole. Because your nose is <laughs> red, you ass red fuck. Nose. He's nosest. Uh-huh. Yeah. He is. <laughs> he, 
he, he's he's a nasus. <laughs> he's a nasus. <laughs> oh shit! Nasism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it exists. Mm-hmm. Only in the North Pole, though. All right, guys. Well, that is uh, our that is our episode for this week. Uh, you guys got anything else at all? No, just thanks again for letting me on. Man. Absolutely. I'm- absolutely enjoying it all right well ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for listening to another episode of the laughing on the sidelines podcast keep doing us that favor of sharing and commenting on our tiktoks we got taken down again because of a video that uh, for sexual content and nudity another one this was uh within three yeah, days yeah sorry i reported that yeah and it uh it had nothing to do with any sexual content. It was completely and totally clean. In fact, I didn't think it was that great of a video, but somebody was offended. Huh. Go fuck yourself. All right. Um, but yeah, Cunt. all of you normal people that are cool and listen to the full episodes of the show get to listen to all the really bad jokes that TikTok mm-hmm. will let us put on there. So, or you uh, can watch it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Watch the full episodes on YouTube. Get all the really bad jokes. Uh, but as we always say, keep on sharing our content. We seriously, sincerely do appreciate it. And if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope somebody re- blows your eardrums out so you have to read Braille. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time... Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. Until next time, guys. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. Take <laughs> care.